Daryl Murphy Wright has scored three goals in 30 Republic appearances. The Republic of Ireland will face Wales on Monday with automatic World Cup qualification, still possible after two Daryl Murphy goals sealed victory over Moldova. Serbia, who suffered a last gasp 32 defeat by Austria, lead Wales by only a point, with the Irish a further point adrift and only Monday's Group D fixtures remaining. After Wallace's victory in Georgia earlier on Friday, the Republic had to win and were always in control after Murphy volleyed the opener after two minutes in Dublin. His magnificent header doubled the lead after 19 minutes. The eight best second-place teams from the nine groups enter the playoffs, and victory in Cardiff will guarantee Martin O'Neill's side second spot. However, if Serbia lose at home to Georgia, the Republic ranked 34th in the world would top the group with victory over Wales. Republic boss Martin O'Neill announced on Thursday that he had agreed a new two-year contract, and Friday's result keeps alive his hopes of a second successful qualifying campaign. Callum O'Dowder produced an impressive first competitive start for the Irish Murphy I and O'Dowder vindicate O'Neill's selection 1 Neil caused something of a surprise by handing a first competitive start to Callum O'Dowder but the Bristol City winger vindicated his selection with an energetic and skillful display. With James McLean suspended, O'Dowda, 22, was preferred to the more experienced Aidan McGeady and his calmness in possession and strong running gave the Republic an alternative creative outlet to Wes Houlihan. In between Murphy's goals, a brilliant O'Dowd a run and pass set up a glorious chance squandered by Shane Long. O'Dowd's display means he must be in contention to retain his place in Cardiff despite McLean and Brady returning from suspension. With Jonathan Walters unavailable because of injury, Murphy was picked to partner Long in attack. The Nottingham Forest striker's second international goal volleyed home after Moldova failed to deal with a Stephen Ward long throw was the perfect start for the Irish. Murphy produced a perfectly placed looping header to give the Republic breathing space after Houlihan's magnificent diagonal ball was followed by Ward's cross to the back post. Long's struggles continue in contrast to his strike partner, Southampton's Long had another frustrating evening as his failure to take three clear chances extended his barren run for club and country to 24 games. He fired badly wide in the 15th minute after being set up by O'Dowder and was denied by keeper Illy Sebenu before the break. Long's frustration was obvious in the 61st minute after he prodded wide with Sebenu out of position after O'Dowd's shot had been blocked. Keeper Darren Randolph made a superb diving save to tip over a Sergio Plasica shot in the first half to preserve the Republic's 20 lead. Moldova, ranked 156th in the world, dominated much of the second half but lacked punch up front and the night ended on a sour note as midfielder Alexandru Gatkan was dismissed in stoppage time after thrusting his head towards Republic substitute Harry Arta. Daryl Murphy scored both goals as the Republic of Ireland beat Moldova 20 Let's go for it What they side Republic of Ireland manager Martin O'Neill We went to Lille having to win to get into the last 16 against Italy at Euro 2016 and we did it, so let's go for this. We know what we have to do now. We have to win a game in Cardiff. We did fine in the first half, got an early goal and followed it up with a great goal from Murph. Second half, we probably took our foot off the pedal, but it was all about winning the game and it sets us up nicely for Monday night. We have some pretty decent players coming back. James McLean has been fantastic for us in this tournament and Robbie Brady is a very, very good player so it is pretty interesting for Monday now. Republic of Ireland goalscorer Daryl Murphy I was confident going into the game after scoring for my club this season and I wanted to repay the manager for his faith in me. It's a big night for me. To score two goals, I can't ask for any more really. We always knew that we needed to win these two games. Monday is massive. We will be ready. The stats you need to know after losing against Serbia in their previous home game, the Republic of Ireland maintained their record of having not lost back Tarbark home games in competitive action since 1972. The Republic have kept six clean sheets in the last eight competitive home games. Martin O'Neill's team have scored four goals in the opening five minutes of games in 2018 World Cup, qualifying the most of any European team.